Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Society YouTube channel where we're talking about some of the upcoming releases for the Scotch Malt Whiskey Society here in Australia. Uh, if you're a member, thank you. It's great to be a member. It's great to enjoy all the benefits of membership of a society, including watching me talk about some whiskies, which gives me a chance to actually taste some of these, present my notes to you, and you can learn a bit about them as we go along. One of the whiskies out this Friday, along with 78.44 Follow the Treacle Trail, is cask number 93.163, a knockout combination. There it is, I'll, try, I'll get a better photo. In fact, 93.163 is here. So this whiskey was actually first featured on the Melbourne Whiskey Train just at the end of last year, but we didn't actually get a chance to formally release it yet. And that's why we're gonna do that this Friday. Uh, this is an 18 year old Campbelltown whiskey from a rum cask. Just put that into perspective for a moment. Campbelltown whiskey is hard enough to get. It's, you know, it's got this cult-like status of the three distilleries that produce whiskey in Campbelltown in Scotland. And, uh, ooh, good cork sound. And finding even core range releases from these distilleries can be sometimes tricky. How about an 18 year old single cask uh, that's been, had extra maturation in an ex rum barrel, an ex society rum barrel, I should make that really clear. It's actually our own maturation of our own rum cask that was used to extra mature this 93. So 93s are a member favorite, I know that, and especially if they're in the lightly peated oily and coastal profiles. Um, there's a, just a drop of this one now to have a taste. Um, it says on the front label, uh, the right cross a peaty spirit from land of the gales, the left hook of a funky sweet rum from the land of the many waters. Know what I mean? That's a fun label. Um, so it's in the lightly peated flavor profile, probably because the rum cask and the age have mellowed this out a bit, but... Oh. <laughs> I love our 93s. They've got so much um, vibrant, uh, oily enigma going on in them, and especially the older ones. Now we've had some really old ones. We've had some 24 and 28 year old 93s. We've had some great younger ones, some seven, eight, nine year old casks. But in that mid sort of teenage, 18 year old single cask in this case, uh, it's a lot of fun. It's a, it picks up that um, real sort of like body and oiliness to the spirit that uh, you often don't, the younger ones are brash, the old ones are elegant, but these ones are right in the middle. The rum cask in this case is not immediately apparent. Uh, it might be to some people. It's of course, tasting notes are very subjective uh, and our, our palates are all very different. For me, I, I, I immediately get the sort of salinity, the coastal notes of a 93. I don't immediately get the rum cask, but you can tell there's a bit of sweetness there, which is obviously coming off the rum cask. Speaking of rum, uh, we can probably reveal this now. Keep an eye out for our March outturn. There's a very special sort of rum experience coming up in there. However, that's for music and malts. This is all about uh, wine and spice. Not technically a wine cask in this case, being an ex rum cask, but it is related to spice. It's an interesting spice coming out of Campbelltown at the moment. And I think this is a 2003 cask of very interesting spirit. I immediately get that, like I say, that oily salinity going on. It's quite earthy. A bit of like almost olive oily on the nose. But um, but it's almost like if you've got a rum, an agricole sort of like white spirit rum mixed with sort of manuka honey. Oh, let's have a taste. Hmm. I think scallops in butter. 55.9%, so it's really that lovely mid 50s proof. Cured ham. A bit of banana. Uh, just a slight bit of sort of estuary sort of banana in there, which is probably coming from um, the rum cask in this case. Just, just, this is the thing I love about an extra maturation from the society. They don't, uh, they don't completely left turn the whiskey. And we're not, you don't get these sort of, you know, you sometimes see, finishing done by other sort of bottlers and whatnot. It's like, it's like it's a quick sort of six month finish. All the extra maturation we do at the society is a minimum two to three years of age, at least. I mean, it's sometimes a lot more. And it's always done so uh, carefully and so gracefully. It hasn't got, it hasn't lost any of that sort of like original spirit. It's not just like a rum cask whiskey. Uh, it's like when you taste a sherried whiskey and it's so sherried that it makes you go, I should have just drunk a sherry. Uh, or in this case, a rum cask whiskey, it makes you think, Maybe I just enjoy rum. This case, it's like, I'm definitely enjoying whiskey. And it's just got that lovely sort of element, uh, 
on the side of it that's lifting the spirit. I could notice this all afternoon. It is afternoon whilst filming just by the way, and it's it's a, it's a very enjoyable afternoon tram. I normally say that's the thing, you know, Peter whiskey is probably best for uh, later in the night, but this isn't your typical Peter whiskey. It's not your typical sort of 53 or 33 or something. This is a 93. No, they're ending in three. Mm, conspiracy. No, but this is just, a, a, you know, it's an exciting a difference into the spirit from this distillery. And I've said this before, if this was an 18 year old from distillery 27, uh, it would be, you know, probably one of the most desirable casks of the year. This one will probably go a little bit under the radar, a little bit of a sleeper because this distillery doesn't have a cult-like core range. And I always say to members, don't be code hunters, be flavor hunters. Focus on flavors that you enjoy. And in this case, if you like that sort of uh, like smoky coconut, scallops in butter, old Campbelltown spirit, bam, this is the spot. This one's out this Friday. Uh, along with 78.44, that's our two releases for this week coming up. Really excited to actually um, have this one uh, on this Friday, and I'm strongly, strongly considering getting one for myself. Um, that's very, very good. It's a nice balance between the rum and the peat and the spirit right in the middle. It's 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 just got that, it's aged so gracefully. Uh, so Slangevar, uh, as I said, it is all about wine and spice. So whoosh, there's the outturn for this month. Wine and spice, of course, and I teased this in the video about the 78.44. If you didn't watch that though, Unfiltered, we've got a really special printed copy of sort of like the coffee table edition of Unfiltered, if you like, coming through. That's very exciting. In the meantime, I wish you all good health and I wish you all happy dreaming. And I'll see you soon for perhaps mid-month or our next stream. Thank you to all who's tuned into Virtual Pub last week. Bit of a technical hiccup, but these things happen. In the meantime, I've got to keep plowing through this dram and of course, just heaps of music for uh, something special coming up for members in March. More on that another time. I'll see you all soon. Sanjava, cheers.